Hey everybody, welcome back to my Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel. In today's really fun video, we are going to be making pizza dough and this will give us two large pizzas. I've got three cups of all-purpose flour, 450 grams. A half a teaspoon of salt, three grams. One and a quarter teaspoons of quick rise yeast, five grams. Two teaspoons of granulated sugar, 10 grams. Three tablespoons of olive oil, 40 grams. And I also have one cup of hot water, 250 grams. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. To my all-purpose flour, I'm gonna add in my granulated sugar, and then my salt, and my yeast. And then we'll take a little spatula and just mix all of this around. So very simple. We'll get this onto the mixer and onto our next step. We'll get in all of our olive oil. And if you don't have olive oil, you can use vegetable oil or canola oil. And then my full cup of water. And then we'll close this down. Start mixing it. And I'm gonna let this go today for about 12 minutes. So I'll just let this go a little bit so you can see the starting point of what's happening here. Now you can knead anywhere from eight minutes, 10, 12, 14 if you want. It really doesn't matter, but you wanna make sure that you do at least eight to 10 minutes is good. So you can see already that it's starting to form a bowl. When you are doing your recipe, if you notice that your dough is not coming together, if it looks dry, add a little bit of water. Very little bit at a time. So you wanna add about a tablespoon, which is 15 milliliters or 15 grams. Add a tablespoon, let the dough work a little bit more, then add another tablespoon. This looks good like this, and now I'm going to turn it up a little bit faster. And I'm just gonna let that go now for about 12 minutes, and then I'll come back. So there we go, that's 12 minutes on our mixer, and this dough looks amazing. We'll just remove it. I have two containers that I have already oiled and they are ready to go. So the only thing left to do on this dough is to separate or divide the dough into two dough balls. You can see how nice this dough is, look at this. That looks amazing. So I've got a scale here I'm going to try to make this video a little bit shorter. So I'm going to divide these up and then I'll come back in a second. 386. 388. 390. And that's pretty good. Were we on camera? Yes, we were. So that's good. So they are basically even. And then just take it and just work that dough, get it all in. And then take your hands and as you turn the dough, push it inward to create a nice snowball. And then grab your dough ball right into your little container. Do the next one. And then what you want to do is oil the tops of the dough ball. Like that, put it in here. And now oil the top of each dough ball. So now I've greased both of them. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. And you can see how small the dough balls are. And now I'm just gonna close these up. And I'll let them sit here for an hour to an hour and a half. During that time, don't be surprised if your lids pop off, you'll hear a little bit of a a poof and you'll find that one of one or both of your lids have popped off and that's because of the CO2 gas that's being created in the dough and it 
causes that little that little pop. So at this point, after my 60 to 90 minutes sitting here, I put these into the fridge just to rest. So if you want to make pizza on the same day as you make the dough, I highly suggest that you make the dough earlier in the day so that the dough gets to sit in your fridge for three or four hours before you use it. Then when you do want to use it, you want to bring it out about a half an hour before. You take your dough, you place it directly onto your pizza pan, and then you spread it out. At this point, you cannot cut the dough anymore. So the size of dough ball stays the same. There is no cutting involved and all you do is you push that dough out to make your bottom of your pizza. So that is basically it for this pizza dough. I have many recipes on my YouTube channel, Bake Like a Pro, and also on my Facebook page, Bake Like a Pro, and you can go into much more detail of me finishing off this dough. I do have other videos on my Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel that show me pushing out the dough, but for this video, what I'll do is I will end off the video with some product shots of the finished pizzas after they have been baked. This recipe will also be on my Facebook page. So at this point, I'm gonna let these sit here for at least an hour and then into my fridge. This is one hour and 15 minutes later, and now I'm gonna show you, one of the lids has popped off. Just show you that. This one here, listen to this. You hear that little poof? And let's look very carefully at the dough. So I'm gonna tilt this dough so that you can see how much activity is in that dough. And that is the yeast. And that there is ready to go into the fridge. So I can either punch it down a little bit, but for today I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'll close it back up, and these are now going to go into my fridge until I use them later on tonight. If you're not gonna use your dough the day that you made it, you can punch it down and then put the lid back on. That will get a lot of the gas out. It'll sink the dough down a little bit and the dough will come up a little bit overnight as it rises. Try the dough the next day and even try it the day after and you're gonna get an amazing sourdough pizza. Amazing. That's all I can say. So at the end of this video, you're gonna see a bunch of pictures that I took um, after I baked the dough, you know, making pizzas with these two doughs. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you wish. And if you're on Facebook, you can check me out at facebook.com slash bake like a pro. So into the fridge, at the end of the video, you'll see the pictures that I took from making this dough. So as promised, here are the photographs from the two pizza doughs that you saw me creating in this video. Before I forget, I baked both of these pizzas at 500 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 260 degrees Celsius. I am using a baking stone, which I preheated in my video here, but you can simply use a regular metal baking pan and you'll get the same kind of result. So 500 degrees Fahrenheit or 260 degrees Celsius and I baked my pizzas for 10 minutes. So you can see how good the pizzas look and if you follow my directions in the recipe you should get exactly the same results at home. And please subscribe to my Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel and also click that notification bell to be alerted every time I upload a brand new video.